Guys, I'm teaming up with my good friend, retired Navy SEAL Jocko Wilnick for something real special. Jocko started Jocko Fuel when he found out the supplements he was buying for himself and his family were filled with heavy metals and ingredients he was unaware of. He wanted a line of supplements and consumables that had all of the good, effective ingredients and none of the bad. So we made it happen. I got set up with all of the key products and we want to do the same for you. Jocko Go Energy Drinks for clean, sustainable energy. Jocko Milk Protein for 30 grams of delicious grass-fed protein, plus a full line of supplements to support mood, focus, hydration, joints, and more. Jocko Fuel Supplements are scientifically formulated and made with ingredients that are clinically tested. They are better for you options with no artificial flavors or sweeteners, no added sugar, and no gray area ingredients or banned substances. It's clean fuel with health compromise. And right now, you can get 20% off when you use code CHAIL at jockofuel.com. Or if it's easier, just click on the link below. Max Holloway. Guys, my producer Ryan comes up with the topics we do over here. And it was well over a month ago. He says, God, what about Max? I said, what about him, Ryan? He goes, what about Max? Do a topic on Max. What kind of a topic, Ryan? That's not a, that's not a question you're giving me. He goes, Chael, are you not paying attention? He said, Max was the odd man out. And now he's the most in demand of the entire conversation. Whoa, he's right. Did you guys follow ESPN over the weekend? Because I used that line. I just got a credit. I got it from Ryan. Max was out at 145. As a matter of fact, Max was out to the extent that when Sean and Mick are starting to make matches at 145, they come up with the bright idea that our next contender is going to have a path unlike any other contender, which is we're going to keep him away from Max. Ilya Teporia is awesome, but Ilya Teporia, by design, did not cross paths with Max, there was no other way to get a guy to a title. If the big plan was, well, you got to go through Max, you know, work your way to Max, and once you get through him, and that was the plan here, give you, give you some inside baseball. Henry Cejudo, when he came back, Henry Cejudo, prior to going in there with Aljo at 135, was talking in the media that he wanted to go 145. He even wanted to do a super fight at 155 with Conor McGregor. What I can share with you, that was real. Henry wanted the opportunity for champ, champ, champ at 145. And Sean made him a deal. Sean and Mick just said, look, can't do, can't do that. You've been out. But I'll do you one next best thing. I will give you Max. And if you beat him, Dana will give you a title shot. So the idea, my premise, my entire premise here is that you got to beat Max to get to that point. They finally had to find, uh, get, give a guy a path that didn't include Max because nobody could get through him. But he was still done. I had a conversation over here, guys. It was International Fight Weekend. Was it last year? Oh, my God. Was it? No. No, it had to be two years ago. Max versus Volkanovsky? That, must, that had to be two, two years ago, right? What was last year's? Was it, wasn't last year Cannoneer, Adesanya? And the reason I'm telling you, that was, has it been too? God, time flies. Is that amazing? Is that amazing how time flies? When Max lost to Volk, see, the gap had gotten wider. And history says, if a younger fighter beats an older fighter and they rematch, the younger fighter will beat him again, only faster. And you can rack your little brain and bring boxing into it as well. And you're not going to find an example where that's not true. Now, I'm well aware that Volk beat Max, but did he? It's not to me he didn't. I didn't think Volk won the first one. I was there. Right before the dirtiest fight I've ever seen. Colby versus Lee. Uh, Part, Colby versus Usman, part one. But I'll let that go. I am very bullish that he did not win the second one. So I, now that I know Max has beaten Volk, at least in my opinion, and I'm aware of the fun fact that if a younger fighter beats an older fighter and they fight again, he'll beat him again only easier. Now that I'm aware of that, now I know Max is going to beat him for the third one. But he didn't. The gap widened immensely in the favor of Volk. And I share that with you because I do remember sitting here over at Bad Guy Inc. and calling for Max's retirement, his potential retirement. You know, he got out there as a veteran. 
He's super young, but he's had, uh, you know, enough experiences and king of the world and all these different things. And there's simply no path back. And I wasn't the only one thinking it. So nobody, and this is what you got to understand. Don't ever forget this piece of the story. Nobody. You guys go to the underground, you go to Twitter. Facebook, Instagram, go to Google right now and just confirm it. Nobody asked to see Max versus Justin. Nobody. That includes Max and that includes Justin. Nobody asked for that fight. That idea came from somewhere. And when the matches just weren't coming around for 300, they just weren't. There kept being a swing and a miss. Whether it was Connor, whether it was getting Izzy back, what Strickland going to do, is DDP ready? I mean, well, any way that you want to do it. That match was made out of a level of desperation at that time. And it's so important that you understand that. Max was put in that fight. It's going to be a great match. He's gone 55 before. It's the BMF, which is special. It's Gaethje, which is special. You know, the more I think about it, that's a pretty good match. Now, we're all aware of how it goes, just because Justin's too big. Max didn't win a round against Poirier, who just got stopped by just like, we got, we know how this is going to go, but let's just go ahead and book it. And that's exactly what the odds maker said. They never changed. They never came off it from the time it was rumored to the time it was signed to the time that that bell rang. Justin Gaethje, favorite the entire time, almost two to one at one point, two and a half. And he came in, you know, to uh, 190. I, I understand, but I'm, I'm sharing with you, when I talk to fellow fighters, unanimously, they all told me Max. I hit eight fighters up in Miami. It was like a nervous ner a nervous twitch, right? I'm looking over my back for George Mosbrough the whole time, right? It's, it's one of these things where truly my mind's just kind of somewhere else. So that was just my go-to on everybody. Hey, what do you think about Max versus Justin? And eight for eight said Max. So I asked numbers 9, 10, and 11. All... Max. And it surprised me. I ultimately picked Max, but I will tell you, it wasn't an autonomous thought. I was peered into it. So, you have the odd man out. They only gave him this fight because they didn't know what else to do with Max. Do you understand that? It didn't matter what weight class Max goes. It doesn't matter. Everybody here has a proclivity to be a contender or a champion, except Max. He's awesome, but he will be neither. He will not be champion, and we're not going to even give him the fight. We're not going to give him the fight because he's already had it three times. There's nothing we can do with him. Do you understand? That's why he got put in that spot, and they'll never tell that story that way. That's exactly how it happened, and look what he did with it. I don't know if Max is the number one contender at 145. I know that's the way you guys are leaning. I understand that. Now, had they not announced Dustin Poirier versus Islam, had that not happened, we would not be as strong of Max versus Ilya Poirier. We, we would not, because Islam versus Max would be very hot, and that would be parody, and that would be a match that none of us ever thought of, and we love that more than anything. But I think they're both wrong, and I hope Max sees it my way. Max does not need to go down to Ilya Teporia. Ilya Teporia has no opponent. I like Ilya. He's undefeated. He's special. That's a handsome young man. I like him. But I'm sharing with you. He has no opponent to the point that when a 35-pounder named Sean called him out, it looked like they were going to go in that direction purely because there was no other suggestions and or ideas. None. Max is a champion of a higher weight class. I mean, our sport is very clear. If, if you got two champions, whoever's heavier, there's your person. Very clear. Max is a champion of a heavier weight class. Which means Max has hand over Deporia. And I can't do anything, guys, other than follow the golden rule, put myself in their shoe. What would I do? I'm not taking 10 pounds off if I don't have to, and I don't have to, because I got no business with you, Taporia. 
I might come get business later, but I got no business with you now. I am a champion of a hundred of a BMF title that I could take where I want, including to stay right here at 155. I've been wanting to get my, my dirty little paws on Conor McGregor. The number one fight that Max has asked for since he was 20 years old and tried it the first time out in Boston in 2013 is Conor McGregor. He's got no way to get Conor McGregor. Well, yeah, he does now. Conor goes out and has the right showing against Chandler. As unlikely as that is, don't think for a second Conor doesn't want that belt, the BMF. And Max selling himself short, acting like he's going to dance to Islam's tune or he's going to he's going to dance to Taporia's tune because that's his real weight class. Anyway, I, Max, I, I like that argument about you got to go home and you got to re-get that. I like that argument when Volk had it. It was never about the 45-pound belt. You've had that, been there, done that. What you haven't done is defend the BMF belt. And I, I'm only sharing with you the idea of Max returning home to take out Volk, I get that, man. That's, that's that competitive spirit. I get it, and I like it. He has no grievance with Ilya Tapuria. I want Max to stay where he is. I want Max to accept challenges. I want Max to defend the BMF. 